See, first of all, I have to thank ISI Delhi Center as well as the organizers of the conference and in particular Professor Niyogi for giving me an invitation to talk in this meeting. The title of the talk will be Completely Mixed Property in Bistochastic Team. See, there is a brief history about this particular problem. Let me give you some motivation for looking at this problem. In the case of a zero-sum matrix game, Irving Kaplansky wrote a <coughs> beautiful paper in 1945, which appeared in Annals of Mathematics, where he completely characterized completely mixed games. He proved that the game with value 0 is completely mixed if and only if the matrix associated with that game is a square matrix and rank n minus 1 and all the cofactors are either positive or all of them are negative. So that's the beautiful result. See, we would like to extend how far this result will go in the case of first in the case of bi matrix game and then with reference to bi stochastic game. In other words, the question that I want to address is the following. Suppose there are two matrices A and B. Is it possible to give a set of necessary and sufficient condition such that the bi matrix game associated with A comma B has a unique completely mixed equilibrium. What I mean by a completely mixed equilibrium is a pair of strategy vectors, one for each player, such that each coordinate of them is strictly positive and the total are two. So that's the question. The second question which we would like to address is, can we prove a similar result in the non-zero sum biomatrix game? Okay, so these are the two questions which I would like to address. First, let me start with some simple examples because the solution may not be a, as simple as one thinks. It's not going to be that simple. So, in order to motivate you for that, let me start with a simple example. Take this example. A is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1 and B equal to 0, 1, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, 1, I mean, let me take same thing, see, as a matrix game, this is completely mixed, and this, since this is the same as this, this is also completely mixed. But as a bimatrix game, this has pure equilibrium as well as completely mixed equilibrium. In other words, the individual game may be completely mixed in the sense of Kaplansky, but the bimatrix game can have more than one equilibrium point of which one of them may be may not be completely mixed. Because here, for instance, each one, I mean, for example, 1, 0, 1, 0 is an equilibrium for both the players. But this is not completely mixed. There are some coordinates which are 0. So, even though as a matrix game, this is completely mixed because you have to toss a fair coin, choose the first row if it is hit, choose the second row if it is straight. So, same thing for the other. So, the games individually as a zero sum matrix game completely mixed, but the bimatrix game is not completely mixed. So, this and these are very nice matrices, these are symmetric also. So, it's not going to be easy when you come to the bimatrix game, and of course, it's going to be harder when you come to bistochastic game. Okay, <clears throat> let me give you another example. Here, A is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, half, half. 
and B equal to 0, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 1, plus 1, minus 1. So here, surprisingly, the bimatrix game is completely mixed in terms of the equilibrium point. But unfortunately, this game is not completely mixed. Okay, so that's the precisely what I am trying to say. So it is really hard to give a set of necessary and sufficient condition under which bimatrix game will have a unique complete equilibrium and no other equilibrium. So that's the okay. But of course you may be wondering why this is not completely mixed. Of course you can easily check it. I leave that problem as it is. Okay. <coughs> so I'm going to write down a theorem for bimatrix game which appeared in the proceedings of mathematical sciences. This is the honor volume, I mean centenary honor round volume for CR law which appeared in 2020. Volume 130. number 47 and printed pages 9. So the, <coughs> the theorem is the following. Let me state the theorem because it will give you some idea. Theorem. Let A, I am going to give only the sign plus minus minus 0 plus plus minus 0. And B is 0 minus plus plus 0 minus minus plus 0. B need not be equal to minus 8. Please remember that. B need not be. In this case, bimatrix game A comma B is completely mixed. That is, it has, a, it has only one equilibrium point and that is completely mixed. No other equilibrium point. <coughs> okay. Now this problem, I mean, here we have a very specialized matrix, namely 3 by 3. What happens when you go to 5 by 5? See, the point is, even for 5 by 5, there is no reasonable solution. Because it is possible that one can construct, I mean, example is given here, there is a 5 by 5 matrix which, which is Q symmetric and sign will be alternate like this and B also will be like this. But then the bimatrix game has a completely mixed equilibrium plus it also has a pure equilibrium. That is, this result in this fashion does not extend naturally to higher dimension. So you have to put some extra conditions. What that extra condition need to be studied further. It's not clear. Okay. See what I want to say is this is, here is an open problem. There is straight some nice conditions under which this result can be extended to higher dimension. Of course you assume A and B to be skew symmetric matrices of odd order. That is important. Because if I take any skew symmetric matrix of even order, it can never be completely mixed. The solution doesn't exist in that situation. So you have to assume it is of odd order. So even for 5 by 5, it's not clear how to formulate this. But in this case, it turns out to be nicely. You can show that with this sign, it is completely mixed. This appeared in this. The author of this article is myself. Vasudha Sharma and Sri Charma. Okay, so that's the power matrix. Now let me introduce the audience to stochastic game. 
non zero sukha sthiti 2 percent bai sukha sthiti i am going to look at only bai sukha sthiti i am not going to go beyond that <coughs> So this is the uh, what is a non-zero sum game? S is there, and then I have R one S, which is nothing but R one S comma I comma J is the matrix given. R two S is for the next player, the second player. R two S comma I comma J. <coughs> Here yes is fixed, but the only thing is i and j run from one to n, so that's the thing. And then beta discount from the transition, and then beta, the, the discount factor. So let me explain what I have written in the notation. I'm going to assume this is the state of a system which is finite, and each player has finitely many actions, namely n actions, pure actions. Player one has n pure action and player two has n pure action. For example, in the previous example, three actions because each player can choose either one, two, three rows or columns. One of them chooses the rows, the other one chooses the columns. So that's what it is. And the transition are not given there, but here transition is the game is played at discrete points of time and over the infinite future. And uh, this discount factor will make the summation for both players bounded. Okay, that's the idea. Here I'm going to assume s is finite. I is one to n. J also one to n. So for each s, these are bounded numbers. Maximum of that you can denote by capital M. And everything is nice. And uh, the total discounted payoff for each player. All right. So that's how it goes. Player, I mean, each one. I am going to assume that each player want to maximize their income. Okay. So the question is the following. In fact, one can prove the following theorem. Let me just state without uh, going to the thing. So this is the thing. One theorem. The following conditions are equivalent. One stochastic game has a unique, completely mixed equilibrium. Two zero sum games. R1s as well as R2s are completely mixed. Or completely mixed. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention one thing. These two matrices are skewed symmetric. I am assuming R1s and R2s. Choose Under that condition, this theorem is valid. Okay, so let me repeat. When the reward matrix for each player at every state is Q symmetric, that is the first assumption. Then, okay, here I want to make one idea, I mean one thing clear. Here what I am saying is <coughs> Bisocastic game has a unique, completely, that is, there is only one equilibrium which is completely mixed. There could be other equilibrium. I am not saying the bisocastic game is completely mixed. Remember that. <coughs> that condition is equivalent to saying each one of these matrix game is completely mixed. So that's the result. 
Of course, uh, the main idea in the, I mean, this result follows because of the following ideas. There are two ideas which are very simple and which is being used in order to prove this. <coughs> Key ideas. Key One, the proof of this theorem. If Yang is a skew symmetric matrix, matrix, then X transpose Mx is zero for all X in Rn, where N stands for the order of the matrix M. Okay, this is an N by N matrix. So this is a main result. I mean, this is an easy fact to observe. That is, if you have a skew symmetric matrix, then the quadratic form associated with that is identically zero. So that's the... <coughs> the second idea is the following. I mean, this, this idea is used very often. That is, I minus beta Q, where Q is a stochastic matrix. Beta is a number between 0 and 1. I forgot to mention that. That is, the beta is a number in the interval 0 to 1, but 1 is excluded. I is the identity matrix. Beta is a number in 0 to 1, and Q is a stochastic matrix, which means all the entries are non-negative and the rows are added to 1, then this matrix is inverted. <coughs> These are the two facts which are needed to prove this result. Okay, that is, if the stochastic game has a unique complete dynamic equilibrium, then the matrix game will be completely mixed in the sense of Kaplansky, remember, that's what I'm saying. Zero sum game, remember. Completely mixed in the sense of Kaplansky. Okay, so these are the two things which are needed. One is this, very easy to prove, I won't go into the detail, but that's the idea of the proof. Okay. Okay. Now, one thing I want to, maybe one way I can indicate later the proof of this, but the, the zero sum case of this was already analyzed in a paper which appeared in 2017 in International Journal of Game Theory, zero sum version. That is what I'm saying is in the non-zero sum, we looked at the zero sum stochastic game and proved this result without any problem. There we were able to show even stronger things. That is, I mean, version, we, we have analyzed this problem from the zero sum stochastic by stochastic game. Journal, the authors are Sujata Babu, myself, and uh, one more person. Is it Ravindran or Nagaraj? Nagaraj name. So this is the there are three people, three authors which appear in. That is there we analyze the problem from the zero sum stochastic game, which is easy to handle. Now let me, how many minutes I have? <coughs> let me indicate at least one part of the proof of this fact. Okay. Two, one implies two. Proof of one implies two. Implies two. That is, I am assuming the bi-stochastic game, this is the hypothesis, has a unique
completely mixed equilibrium. I have to show the individual matrix gain to be completely mixed. Okay. <clears throat> when you look at the proof of the equilibrium, I mean, let me assume let F naught G naught be the unique completely mixed equilibrium. Okay. Here, for each S, F naught S is a probability vector and the coordinates of each one of them is positive. Similarly for G naught. Okay. Okay. Now, one can easily show the following. That is, I will write R1 S I comma G naught S plus beta times U G naught S prime Q S prime given S comma I comma G naught S this will be equal to U G naught of S and then similarly I can write for the second one okay R2 something and I use uh, that is going to depend on F0 so the function on that side will be V of F0 of S so that's the for the other plane okay this is what is going to happen now this is true for all I number for all I and for all S this equation is valid and if you look at the proof of the existence of the equilibrium this is what is going to happen okay now since it's a symmetric matrix, I am going to apply G naught S. Since this is true for each I, the following is true. This implies R1 S G naught S comma G naught S plus beta times U G naught S prime Q S prime given S comma G naught S comma G naught S but on this side it is going to remain as it is, no problem. Reason that is, I am summing this with respect to G naught of S itself because both have the same number of pure actions. So the space of probability vectors for both remain the same since it is a square matrix. Alright, now what is this? This is a skew symmetric matrix and this is nothing but G naught S transpose of that skew symmetric matrix and then you are multiplying by a column vector I already mentioned fact 1 by which this is 0 this, this will go away remember I mentioned two key facts to prove for the proof the first I am going to use it here so R1S G naught S this is going to be 0 now this is true this I can rewrite it as follows this is nothing but this implies I minus beta q this q is with reference to g naught s g naught s into u g naught s is 0 because transfer this to the other side that is simply this but I already told you the second fact namely this is a non-singular matrix which implies u g naught s equal to 0 it implies This is true for all S. I use both the facts. The first one varies is because it is a skew symmetric and this is a quadratic form associated with this vector G naught S. And once this is taken out, this is equal to this and that is precisely this. I already mentioned that y minus beta q is invertible, so this has to be a zero vector. U G naught S is identically zero. Now come back here. This is zero. Remember, U G naught S is zero and this is also 0. So in other words, this will go away, this will go away. In other words, R1 S I G naught S is 0. In other words, this is a completely mixed probability vector. So this completely mixed probability vector is an optimal strategy for the 
matrix K. Okay, that's what it says. So this implies G naught S is an optimal for and also completely mixed for the game R1S for all S. So that's what we have shown. Okay, you have proved that this is a completely mixed, but then you are claiming as a zero sum matrix game it has no other optimal. <coughs> you I mean assume that there is another optimal for this game for some yes. You can what you can do is you can construct I mean that optimal will not be completely mixed because there will be only one completely mixed for this game because it's a skew symmetric game and there is already one optimal. Let it be, it doesn't matter what it is. Let's assume that there is another optimal which is because I I know that this game okay the stochastic game has only one completely mixed equilibrium, remember. Suppose there is another completely mixed optimal for the game R1S, I can construct that one along with F0 so that that will be a, an equilibrium for the bistochastic game which will lead to your contradiction. Okay, I won't go into the details but you will get concerned. So this is the idea of the That is here I use both the facts. That is, this is a skew symmetric matrix and this is inverted. So these two together gives me the answer. And similarly you can prove the other way. So I won't go into the details of 2 u plus 1. So that's the way it is. Now the next question that one can ask is, if you remove skew symmetry, how far you can go? I think you can go one way. We have, we have got some partial results in that direction, but not much. Okay, so that's the, that's where we can say. Let me give you some examples, so that you will see the difficulty in this kind of problem. Let me give you an example, which I borrowed from this paper. The example is a 5 by 5 case. See, I, uh, I think I can refer to this game. See, there is a, I mean, example. There exists an A 5 by 5 as well as B 5 by 5. Skew symmetric. Skew symmetric. Having unique completely mixed equilibrium for the bimatrix game A comma B. Because this example is given in our paper. For this reference, I can tell you, I already mentioned proceedings of mathematical sciences. Math sciences. 2020. So this example I don't want to write it, but there is a pair of matrices which are 5 by 5 order. They have unique completely mixed equilibrium. And from that it is clear that A and B will be completely mixed. Okay? But the game is not completely mixed in the sense that for the same example you, you have a pure equilibrium. And The bimatric game has pure So you see what it says is you can only say from the point of view of uniqueness as far as the completely mixed equilibrium only. You cannot conclude that the bimatrix game is completely mixed. <coughs> If you want to say bimatic game is completely mixed, it should not have any other strategy. But unfortunately, this one has 
the purely group. In this example, I'm not writing it out because you can see that example there. Do I have any more? Uh, how many more? <coughs> conjecture which we have in mind so that it will be clear. There is a conjecture. A, B, skew symmetric. And assume A is of the following sign. A is 0 plus minus plus minus zero plus minus plus zero plus minus zero plus zero because this thing can be filled up because this is skew symmetry here is your, that is here it is minus here it is uh, plus here it is minus here it is plus here it is minus here it is minus plus here it is minus plus minus and B is of similar type except the signs are changed okay A i j B i j is less than 0 for all i n i not equal to j suppose also uh, the point is the following. Suppose x comma y is an equilibrium such that support of x plus support of y is at least 5. What I mean by support of x is the number of coordinates which is positive, number of coordinates y which is positive. When you add these two, it should be at least 5. All these conditions are satisfied. Then this should imply a comma b is completely fixed. We are not able to prove this result because here we are adding more conditions. But in spite of that, because for 3 by 3, this is what is happening. I mean, it's, uh, but we, we are not able to prove this. But we have an example where the, this result is true. Numerical example. But I don't want any numbers. Instead of that, just the sign. Based on the sign, I want to come to conclusion. But we are not able to get anywhere near the answer. We try to prove, but then it's a difficult problem. It seems to be a problem. Open problem, which is difficult even for... 5 by 5, that's what is happening when you want to analyze this. Of course, it's, it's a narrow problem, but still worth attempting. Because in the zero sum case, as you say, Kaplansky was able to prove that. But of course, Kaplansky has a very nice result, which I stated, which will be useful to understand the questions that I'm raising. Just briefly, I mentioned about the second paper of Kaplansky. Because, that might, because we use that on many occasions. Because it is quite difficult to conclude whether such a game is come. I mean, for example, suppose I give a game like this: zero plus minus plus minus. I wrote something. How do you check that this game is completely mixed? From the computer science point of view, that is also necessary. How do you check it? You can check it in polynomial time, and that result goes back to class. How to check a given skew symmetric matrix is completely mixed? Is it polynomial? If so, is it polynomial? The answer is yes, because Kaplansky gives a very nice uh, characterization of a skew symmetric matrix which is completely mixed. The answer is yes. 
see his paper, second paper. It appeared in 1995, linear algebra applications. Let me briefly tell you about that result. This is nice to know. Theorem. Yeah. 1995, come Let's a equal to minus a transpose. Excuse me. Then the game, then a is completely mixed if and only if p1, p2, pn alternate in sign different from 0, different from 0, zero and alternate in sign Uh, where pi is the principle here, pi stand for principle functions. I don't know, my spelling may be wrongly projected, but fafians is something like that. I don't know whether the double F should come here or here. It is. But then, this is a new concept. What is a Fafian? How do you compute it? Let me do it for, let me give you the definition for 3 by 3 and 5 by 5, or 4 by 4. I mean, the principal Fafian is you see, I'm going to assume it is of order n, where n is odd. Remember, that is very important. I have to add this. Because when n is even, it's never going to be completely. So when n is odd, the game is completely mixed if the principal Fafians are different from 0 and they alternate in sign. By that I mean P1 is, P1 is positive, P2 is negative, P3 is positive, etc. Okay, that's the thing. So very nice result. What is a Fafian? I mean, I don't want to get into the actual definition, but at least for well, <coughs> those of you who are interested in it, they can always go back to the definition without any problem, but let me define it for four, for 3 by 3 let me define. I mean, first let me define it for 2 by 2, 0 a minus a is 0. Suppose a is this, then Fafian of a is simply a. If a is positive, Fafian is positive. If a is negative, this is negative. This is for 2 by 2. Now suppose a is 4 by 4. Because when it is 5 by 5, the determinant vanishes because it's a skew symmetric matrix of odd order. So 0, A, B, C, 0, D, E, 0, F, 0. Here you define P, F of A as A, F minus B, E plus C. So this is how we define. Now what is the principal Fafian? Suppose you have a matrix of order n by n where n is odd. P1 is you omit the first row and the first column. Then what you end up is an even order matrix. For that you can define the Fafian. That is P1. P2 is remove the second row, second column. Again, it is of even order, so you can define the Fafian in a natural way. I mean, the, comp the computational Fafian is easy, it is polynomial. In other words, the you have to only check this condition. I mean, at least in 5 by 5, what you have to do is you have to calculate this. Which is very easy to do and his result tells you under what condition a skew symmetric matrix of odd order is complete. And that can be done in polynomial time. So you have to combine that. I mean, you have to use that result to prove 
whether the bi stochastic game or the bi matrix game is completely mixed. And that's what we are attempting, but even for 5 by 5, the result seems to be tough. I think I will just stop here, except that I'll give you the references for some of them. At least, uh, already I gave some references Kaplansky 1 and 2, that is one thing. And then I also referred to our paper which appeared in the Proceedings of the Mathematical Sciences. I also mentioned a paper by Sujata Babu, myself and Nagarajan, which appeared in International Game Theory. And together with that, let me also mention, if you want to get more details about Kafi and Stochastic Game, you can also look at the CMI lecture notes in Mathematics 2, written by myself and Sujata Babu. So this is where I would like to stop. And if you have any question, you can either send it by email or talk to me on that email. Okay. I am going to